Well, good Thursday, everybody. A rare Thursday update for me. I've got a weird schedule today, so the video is coming out much earlier. And let me tell you something, it is going to be super active over the next couple of days. I think it's important to talk about what's happening on Thursday. We've got severe weather across the Midwest. We've also got a big cool down and yes, the potential for some snow across the Northeast. Not a lot and there's still a lot of variables, a big cool down in the country too. So let's get right into it. My granddad always used to talk about Ecclesiastes. He loved this verse and I love it too. And I think I try to live by it. The more the words, the less the meaning and how does that profit anyone? So I'm going to just try to use less words and let's just go right to the forecast. We've got the severe weather threat here. The Storm Prediction Center has highlighted this area. Now the chance for tornadoes will be highest today with storms that could form into the afternoon and evening hours. Southern Illinois, Indiana, also parts of Kentucky, Tennessee, and back into Missouri. And look, just because we have a lower risk around that area doesn't mean it's a zero threat. And you've got to watch Texas too as we head into the afternoon. A widespread chance of severe weather in any of these areas. You can see strong damaging winds, some hail as this storm moves off to the east. As we move into the afternoon and evening hours of Friday, that threat shifts off to the south. So now we've got to watch the Carolinas. Storm Prediction Center highlighting this area for some storms from North Carolina all the way back into Alabama, Georgia, and South. Carolina, some damaging winds, even some hail possible with these. Let's time some of this out as we move through the day on Thursday. Showers moving towards Chicago. We've got some showers across the Northeast too. That will be around pretty much the entire day toward Boston, New York, up into northern New England. And then here comes your severe weather. I think the problem will be out ahead of it where you get some sunshine, you destabilize the atmosphere. It's going to be warm. Temperatures pretty nice actually. But that's going to be a problem with the severe weather as our front moves out to the east. You'll have to watch out ahead of this for any supercells that form. That could lead to a few strong thunderstorms and tornadoes. Very large hail possible in these areas. And look, the storms continue through the overnight hours. So now we're pushing these storms into parts of Indiana, into uh, southern parts of Illinois, and now into Kentucky and Tennessee, right along the Ohio River too, uh, as we move through the overnight hours. Things pushing east into Ohio. The good news here, we're overnight right into the early morning hours you'll likely be the most stable at that point anyway your temperatures will have dropped that's good news however there could be some heavier rain across Kentucky and Tennessee. It'll be interesting to see how this stretches out east to west. If that happens, there could be some flooding concerns. The good news is they are moving. These storms moving pretty quick. Not like what we've seen recently across parts of Pittsburgh. This will move through pretty quickly. And there's your storms firing across the Carolinas as we head into Friday afternoon and evening. Those will continue to push off to the south and so does our precipitation threat. Let's keep moving now into Saturday. We'll be watching quite a bit of rain shower activity across the southern plains so from Texas, pushing over into the deep south too and even a little bit of snow into parts of Colorado. That rain will stick around all the way through Sunday, so it looks wet from Texas over to Louisiana, Mississippi, and now the rain pushing into the deep south across parts of Alabama, Georgia, over into the Carolinas too as we move into Sunday evening. And then as we look into the northeast, here comes some cold air. Temperatures here below normal and a few rain and snow showers across the west too. More showers moving into the upper Midwest as we move into what? Tuesday and the northern plains. That's going to bring some rain showers here. So from Michigan back to Wisconsin. On the northern side, there could be a little bit of snow. And this is the question. How cold does it get? This is some really cold air here trying to push south out of Canada. And if it meets up with this moisture, we could see some snow. And it could be some decent snow too for interior areas of New England, also back through New York, and maybe even Pennsylvania. This is the operational run of the European. I am in no way sold on this solution, but you can see the European says it's going to snow and it's going to turn cold. The GFS, a very similar pattern. Here's that cold air. There comes your system moving out of the southwest, and look, it interacts right here across northern parts of New England. The GFS, not quite as bullish with bringing that cold air south. Uh, either way, it turns cold. We've got showers here along the front, and uh, maybe even some strong storms off to the south. That's something for next week, though. A quick look at your temperatures. Take a look at this cold air. Anything over green, that's more than 10 degrees below average. So you can see a chilly weekend for most of the south. And a lot of this back here will be because of the clouds and the rain. And then that will be the same as we head into uh, Sunday as we see those showers move into the south. There's your very cold air across southeast Canada. And look, it stays chilly here across most of the east, at least 5 to 10 degrees below average. But here comes your real cold air trying to make itself known as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. That's 20 to 30 degrees below average. Ugh. That's not what you want to see if you're hoping for spring. Nice and warm, though, here across the west uh, and a little cooler, though, as we head toward the southwest 
heading into late next week. Temperatures, let's put this into some perspective for you. A warm Thursday. Friday stays warm too. You can see that cold air trying to push in from the north. So on Saturday morning, very chilly here up across the Great Lakes, 20s and 30s. Another warm day across the southeast, but that cold air starts to push all the way toward the Gulf Coast. We'll see some rain showers too. That'll keep our temperatures back. Temperatures go away from the uh, upper 80s back into the 70s. That's not bad though, right? You're looking at uh, 20s here, possibly heading into what is this Wednesday afternoon into the northern parts of New England. And then as we wake up Thursday morning, a chilly start, if you believe the European, which it has been pretty consistent here of trying to bring that cold air in, and the GFS does too. Now, I will go ahead and say that I would argue that the European has also had a bias recently to be very strong on the cold air, trying to pull it south a little more aggressively. In fact, it was showing some pretty cold air this weekend. It's going to be cold, but not as cold as it looked like it was going to be, and I think that may be the case. So I'm a little cautious uh, as far as pushing that idea of a really, really big snow and cold heading into next week. I'll keep you updated. If you like this kind of stuff, I hope you'll stay subscribed. And uh, if you've not subscribed, I hope you will. If you want to help the channel out, that definitely helps. There's your thunderstorms heading into what is this Thursday evening across Mississippi Valley, also the Ohio Valley. But look, you've also got to watch these storms back across Arkansas and Texas. Some of these could get strong to severe, and then that settles down as we head into Friday. All right, I'll catch you guys next time.